Now I've got to show you this. This is a hole that's been dug recently. But the reason I want to show it here is because are you able to see that trail? Well, it's Sunday the 3rd, 2020 and everybody's still in lockdown. You're allowed to come out for an hour for some exercise. So that's what I've done. I'm walking on my local patch. There's quite a few people out, but they're self-distancing. Just taking a nice steady walk. But if you look over here, there's the motorway over there. And then there's this little woods. And in this little woods, I've seen a fox, I've seen hares, I've seen deer, and it's only a tiny little wood. As you can see, it's cut off by the motorway. So it'd be nice to set up camp one day outside there with a hide, possibly place some food and see what we can photograph. There's one thing that amazes me though, coming here over the years, walking up here, I've never ever seen a barn owl and my theory is the reason why there's not been a barn owl around here is because they hunt by sounds so obviously this is excellent hunting ground for a barn owl because there'll be voles certainly within that crop but the thing is you've got the motorway which is usually a lot busier than this Obviously because of the lockdown, it's not as busy. When it's really busy, the noise is quite high. And I think that's why I don't see barn owls here. Because they can't hunt. The one thing I have seen though, you see this path? I've actually seen hares on here. And, and I promise you, they're as big as dogs. They're incredible, they sit there and you think there's a dog there and it's not, it's a hare. It's incredible. They're fabulous creatures. I do, I do like to see those. I am really missing my wildlife photography now. Obviously it's been about five, six weeks since we've been able to go out. The thing is, it, it, it starts off as a hobby, but it then becomes an obsession. And as I've said in previous videos, there's a lot of facets to this hobby. I must admit, I have been on the computer a lot. I do enjoy that. I've actually just put a slideshow together. And the slideshow will be, hopefully, when all this is over, I'll be able to do some talks. So um, I'll let you see that at some point. It took three days. <laughs> three days! Can you believe it? I don't know how long it's going to last for, I keep practicing it and uh, I'll get it off to a tee. I'm just sussing out the projectors and the cables and things like that at the moment, which my mate YouTube is fantastic, isn't it? You can learn anything you want on, on YouTube. He's absolutely wonderful. And now, I'm on it. Can you believe that? Must be mad. But no, I really am missing it. So, just make, make the most of this this walk and uh, you never know we might see something a couple of things you might have noticed about me now number one when it's a little bit bright I pull some right funny faces because I am a squinter so I can't really help that I could I could put sunglasses on but I don't particularly like wearing those for some reason anymore I bet you can hear the, the motorway now a little bit nearer there's a bridge here I mean I'm in the countryside and it's, it's a beautiful place where I'm walking but why is it when some people, they see a bridge, they think it's a good idea to throw rubbish over? That's unreal isn't it? That's terrible. It's the, the world we live in unfortunately. There's one more thing as well you'll notice about me is um, I've not done any b-roll about making a cup of tea or a cup of coffee I'm talking about that and the reason for that is 
I haven't drunk tea or coffee for about 30 years. I'm allergic to dairy products and, ca and caffeine. So I've not had I've not had a drink of that for all that time. But I've noticed that a lot of vloggers or YouTubers they spend all this time making tea and coffee and videoing it. And I'll be honest with you, it quite bugs me. So you'll not be getting any of that from me. <laughs> I'll probably took set me. Whenever I'm in the countryside, walking along hedgerows, I always, when I get a chance, if there's a gap, look down the hedgerows on the other side, because you'll often find something sitting there. Could be a hare, could be a deer. I look every single time. Always make sure. You've got to go really quiet. You have got to be stealth-like. You go really quiet. And you just look around, if you see something and he's not looking at you, bob out of direction, set your camera, slowly go back in and take the shot. Fabulous. Or alternatively, I'm scanning these fields. Now, at the moment, I don't know what this crop is, it's probably wheat, but it's just at the right height for hares to come out and just hunker down in. And then you'll see one sit up or just a little bit pop its head out and that makes a great photo. I'll show you one from pre-lockdown. When I'm walking and I see a tree like this, I can't help but stay still and have a look at all the branches and see if there's something perched up there. There could be anything. There could be an owl, there could be little owls, barn owls, tawny owls. I've seen them all. But you've got to keep looking. You might look at a hundred trees before you spot one, but you'll spot them. Okay, well I've not been up as far as this and I've just come across this field that is absolutely perfect for barn owls to quarter over. It's far enough away from the motorway so I'm pretty sure they're not going to be disturbed by that. So I'll definitely be back to this location. It's well worth standing and looking at these trees but it's also well worth listening. Now I've got to show you this. This is a hole that's been dug recently. But the reason I want to show it here is because are you able to see that trail? There's some sort of animal, I'm guessing a badger, and he's going through this on a regular basis. And as you can see, it's quite clear, and he goes into the woods. Well, I think this is a place to be at night time because I found another trail that's going into the woods and these are quite fresh. These trails are fresh. So interesting to see what would be there. You could put um, an automatic camera trap up, put some food down, come back at another time, see what you've got. 
So I've moved into the woods now and I've followed one of those trails and you can quite easily see that it goes off into the woods. So that's going to be a badger or a fox. I'm guessing a badger because they will travel from their sets to get food. I don't know if you can see that but that's coming through the edge from the other side that I showed you. We'll follow this one a little bit. I mean I'm having to bend down so this is definitely not something that's been built by humans. It'd be funny if I found a badger looking at me. <laughs> but you see this is all undisturbed, all this the twigs up here they're all undisturbed. So it's something that's low level that's gone off there into those trees. That's fantastic, isn't it? Wildlife, brilliant. But what a nice place to be. Absolutely stunning. Bluebells are out. Wonderful. See, these are the type of woods that I like, where you can come to the edge of the woods and you can look out onto the farmer's field. And then you can see... if there's anything about. When I say that your sense has come alive, I even mean your sense of smell. Obviously at the moment, I can smell this rapeseed. It really ought to be too close to it, get hay fever, but um, it doesn't seem to be uh, pollinated at the moment. But seriously, you can walk around and you can smell a strong smell of urine. It's a unique smell. Well, that's often foxes, so you, you know you're near, possibly, a fox's den, which again is worth noting, so you can stake it out. I keep looking away from the camera, by the way, because I'm looking where I'm going. And also, I'm looking for wildlife, of course. Well, back to another motorway bridge a bit further up, back to the noise. It's always worth looking down track to tracks. I've had some great shots of hares running away from me or running towards me, but it's always worth having a look. In this field, I think it's wheat, but I can see skylarks bobbing up and down. and making that fantastic call. Now what's nice about this is they keep bobbing up and then moving across so there's a chance you could get one that's sort of in flight because they fly very slow so that's always a nice shot. I'd normally wait it out but with the situation as it is with the lockdown you're only allowed to be out so long obviously I can't do that but I'll be back. My time's up. Oh, don't like that. Normally out early in the morning, me and the wife, we don't get back till at least tea time, or basically we get back when we lose the light. So hopefully, be safe, and I'll see you another time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. Bye for now.